Okay, hi there everybody. Um, today I'm gonna do something that I wanna do do for quite a while. Um, so today we're gonna be working on the pause menu. So I've already done a tutorial for this, but it's in the um, it's in the platformer tutorial series. And if you wanna go there and go find it, it has some other things attached to that video. So I just wanna do this separate video. Okay, so today we're gonna just be doing a simple pause menu. So first things first, um, if you, sorry, if you, um, check this out, this is my game, it's just a good old logo moving around in the game. Well, if your game is like this, I'm sorry to hear that, but this one I'm going to be working with for this tutorial. Okay? So, um, I made a new scene, and I'm going to make the canvas layer the no root node of that scene so i'm just gonna name this pause okay and here i'm gonna add some children to it so i'm gonna add a child first of the color it as a child of it um i'm going to make this a full rect okay and the i'm gonna give it the black color so that it's gonna cover everything in our game and Reduce the alpha so that it has this kind of transparency so you can actually see the game but it's paused something like that so um actually i'll make a control and put this color right inside it so this is actually going to be the pause menu so i'm going to add another node the buttons buttons okay wow I'm gonna make this full rect too so that it's pretty nice yeah and the buttons I'm going to open it up well you can actually style these buttons um, with themes and other things I'll show I'll do that in a separate tutorial you can just go there and see how to make themes so here I'm just going to put basic buttons a continue button well, you might not see that well, but it's really okay. Um, and I'm going to make other buttons. I'm going to just duplicate that. Well, I think I'll name this continue. Okay, I name this, um, let's say quit. Well, you can actually make other buttons like the um, one that will take you to the menu and other stuff like that. Well, for this tutorial, I'm just going to be leaving it simple, just to make the tutorial short and not wasting too much time. So, I'm going to save this scene as pause.tsn as normal. And in the pause here, I'm going to make a script, pause.gd. So, here I'm going to be connecting some signals. So, we say con on the continue, when we press continue, we're going to connect that signal. And when we press quit, we're going to connect it on save. Wow, nice stuff. Um, I'm done with this. Sorry. And on the continue, well, first off, we have to focus on the pause button itself. Well, you can make a button and give it some signals there and say that we should just make this guy visible. But I'm gonna be using an enter key because I just felt a little bit lazy for this. So we're gonna say func underscore process. So run the physics process process and here I'm gonna be saying if input dot is action pressed um UI underscore accept so it yep accept that the enter key so anytime we press enter we want ourselves to be visible okay visible equal to true wow. you can say visible equal to true or you can just say show well i prefer this show but i think in lower versions of Godot you have to make it visible okay so just leave it there as visible um, on continue pressed, we want, well, 
we're not actually done when we make this visible we want to get underscore tree dot paused to be true so um when we press the continue it we should continue the game so we say hide i'm just going to use the normal show and hide here and say when we say hide we want to get underscore tree dot pause to be false then the on quit we say get underscore tree dot pause equals false make sure that you make it false because if you don't make it false and maybe you're going to another scene you will just run into some kind of stupid problems that you won't like so say when we unpause the screen we want to get underscore tree dot quit so we quit the game okay nice stuff i'm gonna save this and we're gonna instance it in our game scene here over there in the pause and here we want to just make the pause invisible so that at the start of the game the pause is invisible so we're gonna set that um yeah we're gonna set that and you can move around and when we press enter we try to press continue and if you notice it doesn't the buttons don't do anything and the reason for that is because when we pause the screen everything pauses like everything check again if we if we move like over here and we press enter we can't move and everything pauses even the buttons that are working pauses so how will we fix that? We go over to the pause here and over in the inspector we're going to scroll down to where you see pause and we're going to remove the mode from inherit to process. Okay, so this is going to continue even when the screen pauses. So we're gonna check that out. Again, we remove, press enter and we can continue the game. Wow, real nice stuff. Continue and we continue. Um, and let's try to quit it and we quit the game successfully. So everything works. So this is basically how you do a normal pause menu. Um, I'm just using a simple game, but quite obviously this will be your sophisticated game and whatever. So if you have any problems or any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section below. I'll pick it up from there and if you want me to do any tutorials, you can just leave it at the comment section below. Thank you and goodbye. Please like and subscribe.